What's up? It's Lunatic, coach of the... My mic is muted. What's up, guys? It's Lunatic, coach of the Brookhaven Venice. And we are here with week... Six. Uh, we're going up against Seth and the La La Miranda, Miranda Lapras. Sorry, I don't, I don't know how to say it. Um, his team consists of Mega Blasters, which is just picked up. Uh, Hippowdon, Salamence, Decidueye, Chandelure, Gramble, Lapras, Umbreon, Mandible, Rotom Heat, and Blissey. So he does have quite a bit of uh, overlap. He has double Ghost and double Dark. Um, which should seem like you can take advantage of that, but it, the resistances also overlap, so like, I don't know, it, it's a little weird to explain, but like, he'll have two things that are resistant to something instead of one, his team was a little, a little weird, a little unorthodox, I think, um, he is currently two and three, so not the worst record, uh, we are four and one, so we're doing, we're doing pretty good. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get into the, the team. First up, we have Muppets the Hydreigon. Choice, back with Dragon Pulse, Dark Pulse, Draco Meteor, U-Turn. Um, with Max Vessel Attack, Modest, 44 Speed Death, and then 212 in Speed. Uh, he had a pretty slow team. The fastest thing on his team, I believe, is the Salamence at base 100. So, yeah. I get to run Modest on a lot of things. Modest or admin or whatever, I get to run the, uh, I don't have to run speed on too many rounds. Um, but yeah. Uh, I know he has the Blissey. I know he has Umbreon Mandibles that take Dark Pulses fairly well. But, uh, Draco, things don't take Draco too well. He does have a Grand Bull. If he doesn't bring Grand Bull, I get to spam Draco. Um, and the thing with Blissey is, if you remember from last season, um, Last season he also had Blissey, and the way I took out Blissey was like tricked to the Choice Scarf, and Blissey was useless. Um, so if, if he's remembering that, he shouldn't bring it against me. Um, and even then, uh, I think I have other ways to deal with it too. Um, specifically this next one. We're bringing the Heligo. No name than the Heligo. The Heligo put in work last week, and uh, I think I might have needed just one good game with it to get a feel for it. Uh, it is bringing Stealth Rock, Toxic Spikes, Power Gem, Grass Knot. We do not need Sludge Wave here. Uh, Grass Knot is for the Mega Blasters and the Hippowdon. Hippowdon would normally wall in the Helico, resisting uh, Poison and also just eating up Power Gem. Um, and like Power Gem hits the Mence for plenty of damage. It hits Situai for enough. It hits everything for enough damage. So I was fine with not bringing um, Secondary Stab and having something to hit his two fattest mons. Um, it's really nice. Oh, well, possibly it's too fat. He has an Umbreon too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it has 220 special attack, 232 speed timid, and 56 HP. Now the timid is, you know, speed peeping the, the mens. And yeah, uh, so the plan against him is T-Spiked. Whenever I can, I'll get him up. He has a few has removals with Mega Blastoise, um, Mandibuzz, and Decidueye. Uh, I, I don't think I'll see all three of those, and if I can figure out which one the hazard remover is and take get, get rid of them, I can get my hazard up for certain, and this is one of the ways I'm going to deal with Blissey, is by getting it poisoned. Now I know it gets natural cure, um, I don't think it'll bring heal bell, even if it does, you know, T-spikes are on the ground, so when things switch in, they'll get poisoned. Um, and just wear it down through that. Stealth Rock, also if Mandibuzz is a uh, defogger, it takes the rock damage. And uh, for Mega Blasters and Decidueye, they're both grounded. So if they come in to remove the hazard, they're going to get poisoned in the process. So an helical job, do that, just stick around and hit the Black Sludge to recover. And it's just going to chill. It's going to chill. Next we have Not Racist, the Wind Cut, holding leftovers with Prankster, with Moonblast, Energy Ball, uh, Encore, Elite Seed. So there's another thing that can take on Blissey, just Encore the hell out of it. Uh, Leech Seed also, oh my god, Leech Seed from a Blissey? Dude, that, you go from 1 to like 200 HP off that. Like, it's so much, you get so much help from a Blissey. Uh, 144 HP, 4 defense, 116 special attack, and 244 speed. Uh, is that speed creeping mints? 
it is speed creeping mints, but uh, the numbers do that jump thingy. Um, Moonblast is a shit ton of Um, I can kind of freely spam Moonblast against the team. His only answer to it is the Rotom Heat. If it doesn't come, great. If it does, um, I am trying to get my Stealth Rock up early, which limits its switch -ins. And also, I think for a lot of the game, we're going to be clicking Leeched a lot just to pressure whatever Mon he brings in. Next, we have Mega Kabuteri Mon with Bullet Seed, Rock Blast, Pin Missile, Knockoff. Um, so this hits everything. Bullet Seed, Rock Blast, Pin Missile hits everything. Uh, Mega Blast, Rage, Bullet Seed, Hip Out on Bullet Seed, Mens, Rock Blast, and Situai, Pin Missile, Chandelure, Rock Blast, Gramble. Gramble actually is a good answer to my Mega Heracross, um, which is why I'm bringing Knockoff. Uh, Heracross does not get a Poison or Steel move. To hit it, uh, of course, close combat is resisted, so I figured knockoff uh, could be a good way to deal with it because I can get rid of its leftovers or whatever item it's carrying. Um, I just realized that Gramble could also be a heal veller. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, yeah, so okay, Lapras, Rock Blast, Umbreon, uh, Pin Missile, Mandible, Rock Blast, Rotom Heat, Rock Blast, Blissey. It's a Blissey. So, uh, I'm 160 HP, max attack at it, 4 defense, 92 speed, which is speed creep. What am I speed creeping? I might be speed creeping in those speed mandibles. I feel like that's what I'm speed creeping. 209. Uh, let me check real quick. I hate that it does that. Wait, I clicked it. Hello? Okay. Mandibuzz, I think. How am I supposed to go? Will it 209? Fuck, what am I speed creeping? The Sidroy? I think I'm speed creeping the Sidroy actually. That's what it is. Okay. Next up, we have Pretty Bird the Articuno. Now, there's one person. There's one person in particular talking shit about Articuno, alright? You listen to that, alright? Articuno could not fucking work, right? Shut the fuck up. Great mod. No, it's not. My Articuno is not great. I just, I like it. I think it's a cool, interesting mod. I wanted to use it. Uh, if we had the option of three seed captains, this would have been my third. I think Articuno can uh, put in work. It's, I think it's kind of like a sleeper pick. I think it could be a really good mod. Uh, it's carrying Freeze Dry, Ice Beam, Tailwind, Roost. So against his team, um, Ice does a number to his team. Uh, even Chandelure, who's a resist, um, a never melt ice boosted ice beam. Not taking it too well. He does have the likes of Lapras. I have Freeze Dry, which does a, a fair amount. It's not a lot, but it's a fair amount. Of course, Umbreon, being the wall that it is, wouldn't um, could could eat it up, and the Rotom Heat as well, um, and Blissey. But again, I don't think it's coming. If it does, I can deal with it. Um. So yeah, and uh, it puts in a lot of work. I think ice. The ice type does a lot against him. He has the two fire types. If you bring both, that's just more stealth rock damage. So that's where he, he has a lot of type overlap, and it's it's weird. It's weird. Um, so Articun is rocking 40 HP, max special attack, and then 216 speed timid, which is the same speed as Hydreigon, which I forget what it's creeping. We're here with the battle. So he brought the Mega Blasters, Hip Out on Decidueye, Chandelure, Mandibuzz, and Gramble. So, okay. Uh, I'm gonna need a new book soon. I'm almost out of paper. Uh, Alright. So, Mega Blasters, Hip Out on. So, okay, his room, he brought all three has removal, so, shouldn't make it a little trickier, but, that's fine. Jujuai. Uh, Articun is looking nice this game. Stamina Ice Beam, it's gonna look pretty good. 
check the lore. I just have to. Uh, if I weaken Chandelure, he won't have very good switch in his Grample could be like a soul quest though. Uh, Mandibuzz. I'm gonna call it Mama because that's what I name it. But I think of the, the Mama Buzzard from the uh, Looney Tunes. And uh, she had a son who was just a straight up idiot. It's funny. Alright. Uh, lead. Let's go. Let's do it. Phone is on silent. We're good. Um. I think he'll just leave the pot on. I don't think he leads Chandelure in any world. Um. <clears throat> I can lead with Whimsicott, maybe. Oh, also, this Whimsicott gets kind of walled by uh, Destroy. So I'll keep that in mind. Uh, I could also just lead Kaputerimon and go for knockoff. Uh, his <coughs> his potential Z Crystal Mons are the Destroy and the Chandelure. Knockoff from a Mega Heracross still kills both of them, even while holding Z Crystals. Um, <clears throat> if they have cold very, uh, they, they could live though. Uh, honestly, I don't think that's bad. I don't think he leads Chandelure. I really don't think he leads Chandelure. I think he leads it well. <laughs> he left. What? Why? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> like, that's the one mon he won't lead with. <sighs> okay. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Now, you might not, like, think it's huge, but, uh, like, first turn, like, the lead, like, the leads on both teams can, like, determine the battle a lot. Um. Wait, why am I searching that? Um. This thing does get size shock. Um. If this thing choice specs, then I don't have a switch in. Let me see. And go. No. Okay. How they go? Uh, no name. Except for now. These guys want thing. Could also, the thing is that's I'm gonna say I can make the aggressor switch into a uh, hydragon. Yeah, I take anything, but I think get that Uh, let me check. I might, I might be remembering wrong. Let's see, Chandelure. It does not, does not get a fairy move. It does not. Oh, so I'm going to hydragon. Okay. Uh, we check that damage now. Uh, two hydrogen. I did a lot. Okay, I should do 38 to 42 if It did. Uh, where is it? Okay, let me close this. Okay, I see that better now. Flame throw to 27.4. That looks like a no item, so I'm guessing uh, Z move. Guessing Z move. Because it doesn't have a boost. Uh, Z or Colbert is what I'm thinking. <clears throat> I obviously scared this thing out with a Dark Pulse. Um, his switch in is probably Grand Bull. He doesn't stay in here. For, for sure. He could be Scarf too, that's another option. Okay, so, I'm pr it's gonna be, I'm thinking it's either Z move, Culber, or Scarf for this handler. 
Uh, I'm gonna U-turn the hell out of here because he doesn't stay in. And I get a better matchup. Because Grample probably comes in here. Mandibuzz. Okay. So I think this Mandibuzz is gonna be special defensive. Or maybe he uh, he just takes Edge Bomb. Mandibuzz. I'm gonna use Mandibuzz before it can definitely hit you pretty well. Um, however, it would not have taken it. Uh, Dark Pulse actually would have done 25 to 30. It would have taken it decently well. That's with um, just like max HP, no Spadef. But a Dragon Pulse would have, would have done half. Um, Chandler would have done full. Uh, da, 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 da. What can Mandibuzz do to Nahalika? Nothing. Hmm. Foul play, knockoff. I I think the Helico threatens with just power jump straight up. Uh no it doesn't, but if I was let's say uh choice specs choice uh if I was choice specs I would threaten it. It also doesn't do much to me. Knockoff would get rid of black sludge, which sucks. But, uh, there's a lot of things from the team that I just have speed, so I'll be able to get a passer, probably. Uh, let me see how much Arctic Luna does to, uh, Chandelure with an Ice Beam. 29 to 34. Let me write that down. Ikebiam does 29.5 to 34.8. That's resisted hit, it's still doing about a third, so that's not bad. Um, I could also go Mega Cavitary Mod and go for a knockoff, that's also an option. Uh, I think I want to go into Heligo though and start getting up my spike, my T spike. Let's do that. Uh, it is leftovers on the Mandibuzz. Lefties. Uh, Chandelure for Flamethrower. Okay, I'm gonna try and play a little faster because I know my opponents hate how slow I play. I went into this going for T-Spike, so I'm going for T-Spike. Okay, there's Bertha. Let's go. Alright, my switch into this. Uh... I can go Heracross or I can go Whimsicott. I can also go uh, Hydreigon. So many options. <clears throat> I think I want to go Heracross and go for Nako. Um, He does like nothing to me. Even with a Fire Fang, I don't think he'll do much. Fire Fang, uh, probably Ice Fang. No, wait, Fire Fang did, yeah. Um, First of all, Earthquake would do like 25 max. I don't think he goes for Fire Fang. Uh, and then if I am Mega Up and he has Fire Fang, yeah. And then I definitely. I don't threaten to kill him with Bullet Seed. Um, but I do want to get that knockoff, so I'm going to do that. There's a Stealth Rock, I expected that. And here, I'm pretty sure switching is going to be the Grand Bull. I'm going to Mega and go for knockoff. Get rid of whatever item it's holding. And if he stays in, I get rid of his leftovers. Uh, he goes Mandibus, he wouldn't left his. Uh, Chandelure gets not a switch. Blastoise, I don't think he switches. I think he goes ram Ramble. Okay. Uh, my head's going that way. <laughs> Alright. He stayed in. I get a big knockoff here. Uh, he is now. That did actually nothing. He did show he has EQ though. Um, it did 15%. I think that's as much as it's supposed to do. Like a no attack if I don't. There's 15 to 18. Did, yep. 
now he's definitely threatened by Bullet Seed. Uh, nothing else really threatens him though, right? The, uh, the Tin Missile doesn't. Bullet Seed threatens him. I don't... I don't think he stays in. <laughs> I feel like he wants to keep this, but what is he switching? The Grand Bowl? How much does Grand Bowl take from Bullet Seed? It takes 30 to 30. So I'm going for Bullet Seed. Fuck it. Or am I? It's everything decently. I don't think he brings us a dry in here. He will either go. So stay in, go Mandibuzz, or go Gramble. Those are three options, I think. I think my best option. I'm gonna go for the bullet shoot. He swapped. He went Mandibuzz. Fuck. <sighs> Alright, um. Okay, let me see if that damage tells me anything. Bullet seat 16 to 19. That did a total of. What? 4 times 5 is 20. Did a little less than that. So it does seem to be a. Uh, about max HP, max defense, Mandibuzz. Um, if this is supposed to be a switch into this, um, not good. Would he speed creep? This thing? I, I want to say he doesn't, but if he does, a Braver kills me. Braver definitely kills me. 209. He actually doesn't need that much investment to, uh, we'd only need 56 in speed to outspeed me. I cannot risk that at all. I think I have to go, uh, I think it's gonna defog here, but the Brave Bird pressure means I can't stay in. So I think I can go tuck here and go for a Scald. Went for foul play, he doesn't have Brave Bird. That's information. Also, okay, what's my speed on this? 209, you are 156, you are min 148. But with, um, without a minus speed nature of 196. So, do I have anything that's slow? No, okay, there's no way to tell. I would just have to risk it. Uh, Skull's my play here. He can go to Sidjuai, go Blast with they're both being poisoned. He went for knockoff. He has speed for me. Didn't get burned. Okay. Uh, he had the knockoff too. This is, uh, okay. I don't want anything getting knocked off. Knock, knocked off. Yes, word. Alpha's not gonna do anything to Heracross. There's 20 to 34, and Nako's gonna do even less. Yeah. I don't think he has Brave Bird. I'll take neutral from Rock, and then I go for Rock Blast. Then he can go into the Hippo, and then I threaten with Bullet Seed out of speed. It's, it's so risky if he's just like bluffing, not having Brave Bird. I don't think that's what he's doing. But I can't risk it. Mega Heracross still puts in a lot of work. Uh, Empoleon is still useful for Chandelure. I think it still takes a hit. Uh, 
Uh, he had flamethrower, so I do still take a hit. I want to. I want to make it. I want to do the play. I want to do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. He went for roost. Okay. Uh, now I threaten with rock blast. I don't think he has speed. Let's go back to her first. Rock blast doesn't kill. I'm gonna go for. It. I like, don't think he has the uh, Brave Bird. He does not. Okay. So now he brings in the Grand Ball. Ooh, that crit. Um. Did that crit matter there? One of those crit. Oh, that did a lot, actually. Yeah, because it goes through the Intimidate. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Nine times four. Uh, Thirty-six. Uh, Fifty-seven. Left the poison. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't want to get the crit. Uh, seven. And now he's in range of the next rock blast. So that is unfortunate. Uh, is there a way to check? Yeah. No, you can't check one crit on the damage calculator. It'll crit for everything. Um, that's me, it doesn't matter what. And I can go for the bullet seed because it's switching it would be the Powdown maybe. And bullet seed and rock blast are the same amount. Yeah. So Gramble's dead. That's unfortunate. Uh, um, I'm really sorry. That crit seemed like it mattered. Um, but also, hold, okay, got that thing poisoned. Good. Um, did I go on a Heligo last time? I think I did. No, I went Hydreigon last time. Um, do I want to go Hydreigon again? Or do I want to go into Heligo this time? He might trick. He would trick. Chandler can't touch Hydreigon. Uh, it's getting whittled down though. But also now I can just trap a Draco on something. What, what can he do here? He's gonna go for a fire move. And a Helico, Hydrogen. And a Helico, Hydrogen. Let me see, okay. Does Power Gem into Grass Knot kill the Padon? But if it does, that's what I'm going to hell I go. Power Gem into Grass Knot. 78 min. Oh yeah, it does. I'm going to hell I go this time. Let's see what he does this time. Flamethrower again. Okay. Uh, Power Gem hits everything. And if it goes, oh, I'd have the grass knot. <sighs> if he's not scarfed, that's uh, speed. And if he is scarfed, flame does nothing. There's the hippo. There's that. And now the grass knot should kill. Unless he's Rindo. He's not Rindo. He should have left it. So now grass knot kills him. Boop. Gone. Hippo's dead. Got him! Now I have the beast boost! 
Also, I have the death boost from the sand. Thank you. Oh, uh, what's going on in the chat here? Sinister. Okay, sir. Uh, Decidui, I think. I think he threatens me. Uh, Leaf Blade. That's a jolly. Adamant, Leaf Blade. Still doesn't kill me. I see the damage boosting item, but then I have speed. That plus one power gem does a lot, but it doesn't kill. But it doesn't look like it can kill me. If I were to have Sludge Wave, that wouldn't kill him either. Hmm. The Helico is still useful. Can I just go Hydreigon? Let's do that. There's a Leaf Blade. Uh, 26.2. So I would have lived that. Okay. The more you know. Uh, Dark Pulse definitely kills him. Dragon Pulse has a chance to kill him. How much do I do to Mandra Buzz? Draco. Shit, I'm dropping a Draco, dude. Oh, that damage. And then he's gonna take uh, Sand Damp. Oh, there's Overdope. Just realized. Uh, where are you? Over. Oh, he's not taking Sand Damage. Um, now minus two. Oh, wait, no, I'm locked in. But uh, Draco still kills. I'm just gonna drop another Draco. And Mandibus is dead. So, uh, score's currently six to three. It's looking good. Um, I am two specs in though. So, I will have to swap out. Uh, all three of these things are poisoned, which is great. Um, uh, let me see. Blast uh, each mega to win the cut, which is. Oh, which one is Thorkid? Nothing he does. It's really scary. Ice Beam could be. Oh, Ice Beam just one shot from cut. Um,. Is this one Articuno comes in? I forgot about the South Rock being up. <laughs> I really did. Uh, I really did. But that did a lot. Um, I'm actually, I'm gonna roost up here. Cause nothing he hits me with does too much. Uh, the hardest thing is, actually, how much would a, uh, water pulse do? Would do 49, yeah, I can roost up here, I can roost all of them. <gasps> oh my god! Why'd you, I don't know if you predicted roost there. Fuck! His orange fear, like, if, uh, uh... Articuno was supposed to do something this game. I I don't know if it's the visual on the the this layout of it that I didn't see the rock. I just it, I forgot about the rock. Ah. Uh, uh, can I just go? Wait, I can go. Uh, Dark Cross, I think. Cross. Uh, Water Pulse has a chance to kill me, but I also threatened the hell out of him. And I can actually go for the Pin Missile. Is that Chandler Urza thing? It might want to come in. No, then that's not the play. Get a Dragon kill with, uh... Dragon kills with a Draco. Uh... I don't think Whimsicott kills with its thingy. Energy Ball? No. And Helico? 
does not count. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna come up again. <laughs> Carlos, you're dumb. Dude, Carlos just hates Articuno so much. I don't get it. I get to drop a Draco here. Yeah, the Archer. I need to drop Draco. Something does. The Dragon's putting work this game, I like it. Alright, don't miss it. Good. Um, there's a six dry. Done. Um, Chandelure. Considering how much damage it's been So I don't have another rock switch in. What I can do is go Nihiligo. Nihiligo, I'm pretty sure Nihiligo doesn't take, yeah, two things, you know. Um, my timer is really low right now. I'm gonna go into Empoleon and fire for Scald. Go for Shadow Ball. Okay. I'd rather Empoleon go down than anything. Keep my um my mons that are getting killed. You yeah. know, keep getting killed. Uh, here I go for Scald. I think this thing's scarfed. Uh, the Halico can come in and Power Gem. And then with the boost, I can kill Blasters with the Grassland. I'm pretty sure. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure. Okay, Lily is a terrible name for now to go. Like, it's so overused. Uh, and grass not killed. The Haligo putting in work again. Yes. I didn't get the rocks up, I didn't get the two layers, but it's fine. Um, good game, Seth. Uh, we went 4 0. He caught me on my uh, my Articuno there, going for the Oros for that was a good play. Uh, it was kind of my fault for getting rocks were up. Don't know how. Uh, at that point, Articuno was a threat. To him, but uh, that was a good play. Uh, yeah, the Hydreigon putting in work this game. I like that. Uh, Heracross uh, got a crit on the Grand Bull. Don't know, don't actually know if that matters. 20, not 9. What's 9 times 5? 45 with the poison. It maybe mattered. It seemed like it mattered. It kind of mattered. Um, Boomsika didn't hit the Halico had the pressure on all game. Um, Scarf Chandelure was just like, it wasn't gonna do anything. I have a Hydreigon on right there. And then the Halico also. So, I, I did not need to fear that Scarf Chandelure at all. He would bring it in on Heracross. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I had two good switches for it. Um, the Mandibus not having Brave Bird. Cause I found that out. It was pretty, pretty Gucci. Uh, for Heracross to be on it. Yeah. Yep. Alright, uh, see ya.